Howdy and welcome to the Mighty Mo Church Channel. I be So this morning <clears throat> on the uh, stocks, uh, the gappers that I looked at was IMV, ICON, MYSZ, VNRX. I didn't buy any of them. I just I didn't feel good about anything. So this IMV at pre-market it was trading at seven dollars up. And you can notice over here at the high and the low, okay, it and the open. Okay, it open, it had already dropped back to 609. Now from 609 it did go up to 682. Uh, and at some point it dropped back to 470. Right now it's trading at 507, 506, 507. Um, there definitely was money to be made there if you could get in and out of the stock just right. With my really bad DSL I, and the way it was popping around, I was pretty sure there was no way I would be able to do it. And I looked at the stock like it was a house of cards that could collapse at any point. And I've had that happen to me too often. I mean, I've had some success, but I've had some failures. And and the, like that oil stock I was talking about yesterday, I mean, it, it just it plummeted. Boo, 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 it plummeted bad. So I know how bad it can be. And like I said in, in the other video on the day trading, as a swing trader, I don't want to end up paying $7 for a stock that's going to fall back to 470 or worse. Like that oil stock dropped back to, <laughs> it dropped back to 50 cents. I mean, my God. So, and then this um, icon, I-C-O-N, Okay, at pre-market, it was hanging pretty much around that dollar fifty-three. It wasn't popping like IMV. It was pretty much holding steady. Okay, so I could have looked at it and said, well, you know, at open, it may pop up. But I looked at it like, okay, again, this is more like a house of cards, and it's more likely to fall. And at least right now, I, I don't know what it did between the pre-market and where it's at now. I, I, let's see. Let's see if it shows me the thing. Okay, it was mostly a stay drop down. So there again, that would have been a failure. That would have been a falling failure trade. And I would have either sold the stock at a loss or ended up holding the stock. And regardless, I would have ended up paying too much for the stock. Uh, MYSZ, I, I don't really remember what it was doing in pre-market. I really wasn't watching it that watching it that closely. Um, it's right now it's trading a dollar thirty seven. Its low was a dollar thirty one. Its high was a dollar fifty five. There again, because of my really bad DSL and it's really hard for me to get in and out of stocks, I probably would have flubbed that up too. Now on these stocks that were continuations yesterday, a Wimmy. Okay, it dropped thirty per well twenty nine point twenty percent. It dropped. A dolphin. It's now down to a dollar seven. It's dropped twenty five percent. So those were two continuations. Yesterday, today they dropped. So as a swing trader, if you'd bought the stocks, hoping for a continuation, you wouldn't have got it. They continue from one day to the next, or from a Friday to Monday. I guess is the way it was. In other words, there was continuation there, but it was short-lived continuation. They dropped. Um, PSV, uh, I don't think it was a continuation. It, it pretty much has been going down uh, since it popped up. So swing trading is hard. It, it really is. It's, it's just hard. Anyway, much thanks for watching and listening. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Let me get down here and get it turned off, baby.